Hello everyone, Vinita this side. Welcome back to my channel. So I hope you all are fit and fine. So as we have on the chapter, my childhood. So the summary, uh, the detail of my childhood deals with, as you, we have already discussed, like uh, it deals with the famous biography, Wings of Fire of the celebrated Indian APJ Abdul Kalam. It is a section in the book Wings of Fire. And uh, in this section, and the chapter talks about the early days of Kalam. Furthermore, the chapter gives us an idea of how the childhood of Abdul Kalam prepared him to become a successful scientist and president in the future. Much has to do with his upbringing, which Kalam discusses in this section. Kalam tells us about his parents, his siblings here. He mentions the important role of his friends, his teachers. So after completing this chapter, with proper summary, with proper reading, and uh, even we have explained the thinking of the text from the same chapter. So, continuing to that point only, we do have part say part three. Discuss these questions in class with your teacher, and then write down your answers in the the paragraph each. You need to mention something about these lines, about these phrases. So our question number one, on the whole, the small society of Rameshwaram was very rigid in terms of segregation of different social groups, says the author. On the whole, the small society of Rameshwaram. So from these phrases, the author wants to ask some questions like which social groups does he mention kaun se social group ke bare mein usne mention kiya hai were these groups easily identifiable kya ye groups jo hain in groups ke jo log hain jo person hai jo in groups se related hai kya wo identifiable hain yeah, now come to the answer. The, the social groups that he mentions are Hindus and Muslims. Now, the social groups he talks about are Hindus and Muslims. Hain. Were these groups easily identifiable? Yes, yes, these groups were easily identifiable by their dressing, by their tradition, by their culture, etc. These groups are easily identifiable hai. dressing, se, se, tradition, riti rivaj se, and culture or sanskriti. Se. For instance, Udharan ke liye, Kalam used to wear a cap on his head. Jo Kalam hai, wo cap apne sirpe, which identified him as a Muslim. जो पहचान कराते हैं कि वो एक मुस्लिम बॉय है। And Ramanand Shastri wore a scared thread at that time also. It was really very easy to identify that Kalam used to wear a cap and Ramanand Shastri wore a scared thread. So by this we can easily they are easily identifiable. Question number two, were they aware only of their differences or did they also naturally share friendships and experiences? Were they aware only of their differences? Kya wo apne difference ko leke, jo unke beech mein culture or traditional jo difference tha, 
कि वो अवेयर थे इन चीजों के बारे में एंड डिड दे ऑल्सो नेचुरली शेयर फ्रेंडशिप एंड एक्सपीरियंसिस क्या नेचुरली उन्होंने ये चीजें कभी शेयर की सो वट शुड बी द आंसर दे वर नॉट अवेयर ओनली ऑफ दर डिफरेंसेस वो अवेयर नहीं थे दे आर नेचुर दे ऑल्सो नेचुरली शेयर फ्रेंडशिप नेचुरली उन्होंने जो थे वो फ्रेंड्स थे कलाम्स मदर एंड ग्रैंड मदर वु टेल इवेंट्स फ्रॉम द रामायण फ्रॉम द लाइफ ऑफ प्रॉफिट एज बेड टाइम स्टोरीज कलाम की मदर माँ और दादी माँ उसको अक्सर रामायण की स्टोरीज जो है वो उनकी लाइफ से रिलेटेड जो कहानियां थी उनको सुनाती थी बेड टाइम स्टोरीज के लिए जब हम सोते हैं बच्चे उनको सुनाने के लिए जो स्टोरीज सुनाई जाती हैं तो उस टाइम पे वो रामायण की स्टोरी और उनसे रिलेटेड जो लाइफ स्टाइल था उसके बारे में उसको बताते थे ऑल हिज फ्रेंड्स बिलोंग टू ऑर्थोडॉक्स हिंदू फैमिली उनके जो फ्रेंड्स थे वी कैन से दैट दे आर बिलोंग टू ऑर्थोडॉक्स ऑर्थोडॉक्स मीन्स दैट मोस्ट पीपल बिलीव डू और एक्सेप्ट यूजल ऑर्थोडॉक्स मतलब ज्यादातर जो है वो मानने वाले लोग थे हिंदू धर्म के ड्यूरिंग द एनुअल सीता राम कल्याणम सेरेमनी सीता राम कल्याणम सेरेमनी के दौरान हिज फैमिली वुड अरेंज उसकी फैमिली जो थी वो अरेंज करती थी बॉट्स 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 अरेंज करते थे विद अ स्पेशल प्लेटफॉर्म फॉर कैरिंग आइडल्स ऑफ द लॉर्ड फ्रॉम द टेम्पल टू द मैरिज साइट सिचुएटेड इन द मिडल ऑफ द पॉन्ट कॉल्ड राम तीर्थ विच वॉज नियर हिज हाउस अब एनुअल जो वार्षिक समारोह होता था सीधा राम कल्याणम सेरेमनी जो होती थी उसमें हमेशा ही अब्दुल की फैमिली बोट्स अरेंज करते थे एक पर्टिकुलर प्लेस से जहां पे वो भगवान की मूर्तियों को उठाने का काम करते थे मंदिर से लेके मैरिज साइट तक एंड द मैरिज साइट सिचुएटेड इन द मिडल ऑफ द पॉन्ड पॉन्ड के बीचों बीच था कोल्ड राम तीरथ राम तीरथ जिसको बोला जाता था Which was near his house, जो उसके घर के बिल्कुल नजदीक था Now part number थ्री The author speaks both of people who were very aware of the differences among them, and those who tried to bridge these differences. Can you identify such people in the text? वो कह रहे हैं कि ऑथर अब बात करता है उन दो लोगों के बारे में हु आर वेरी अवेयर ऑफ द डिफरेंसेस जो डिफरेंसेस के लिए बिल्कुल अवेयर थे अमंग देम जो उनके बीच का डिफरेंस एंड दो ट्राई टू ब्रीच दिस डिफरेंसेस और वो लोग जो इन डिफरेंसेस के बीच में पुल का काम कर रहे थे कैन यू आइडेंटिफाई ओके so the author speaks both of the people who were very aware of the differences among them and those who tried to bridge these differences ab author baat karta hai un dono hi tarah ke logo ke bare mein ek to wo jo proper aware hai ki is tarah ke differences hote the unke beech mein aur ek wo log who tried to bridge These differences, जो इन differences के बीच में पुल का काम करते हैं Yes, we can identify such people in the text. हम identify कर सकते हैं हम पहचान कर सकते हैं ऐसे लोगों की text में अपने chapter में The new school teacher, वो जो नया school teacher आया था एंड सुब्रमण्यम अयर्स वाइफ एक वो नया टीचर और एक जो सुब्रमण्यम अयर की वाइफ थी 
were very aware of the differences among the social groups. वो क्या थे अवेयर थे इन डिफरेंसेस को लेकर बट शिव सुब्रमण्यम अयर एंड लक्ष्मण शास्त्री ट्राई टू ब्रीज दीज डिफरेंसेस लेकिन जो लक्ष्मण शास्त्री और शिव सुब्रमण्यम अयर जी थे उन्होंने इस डिफरेंस को पार करने की कोशिश की आई होप यू विल अंडरस्टैंड दिस क्वेश्चन now fourth point narrate two incidents that show how differences can be created and also how they can be resolved how can people change their attitudes okay so now we do have We have to explain about these two differences. हमें दो incidents के बारे में बताना है. जिससे ये show होता है differences can be created कि how difference create कैसे होते हैं and also how they can be और वो differences solve कैसे हो सकते हैं. So the two incidents that show how differences can be created वो दो incident जो ये शो करते हैं कि डिफरेंस कैसे क्रिएट होते हैं एंड ऑल्सो हाउ दे कैन बी रिसोल्व और ये दिखाते हैं कि वो सॉल्व कैसे होते हैं सो दीज आर सच एज फर्स्ट इवेंट वेन लक्ष्मण शास्त्री गो टू नो अबाउट द वे द न्यू स्कूल टीचर हैड मेड कलाम सिट ऑन द बैक बेंच बिकॉज ही वॉज अ मुस्लिम वेन Lakshman Shastri got to know about the way the teacher had made Kalam sit on the back bench. Lakshman Shastri को जब पता चला कि जो नया teacher school में आया है उसने Kalam को पीछे वाले bench पे जाके बैठने को कहा क्योंकि वो Muslim है क्योंकि वो Muslim है He asked the teacher to apologize. और क्विट द स्कूल उसने टीचर को कहा कि या तो माफी मांगो या स्कूल छोड़ दो न्यू टीचर नॉट ओनली रिग्रीट हिज बिहेवियर नए अध्यापक ने ना ही सिर्फ अपने बिहेवियर को लेके माफी मांगी बट ऑल्सो वॉज रिफॉर्म्ड बाय लक्ष्मण शास्त्री स्ट्रॉन्ग सेंस ऑफ कन्विक्शन माफी मांगी साथ में उसने स्ट्रॉन्ग सेंस दिया कि वो बदलाव जो है वो जरूर लेकर आएंगे कलाम साइंस टीचर शिव सुब्रमण्यम अयर आज कलाम टू हिज होम फॉर अ मील शिव सुब्रमण्यम अयर को कहा गया कि वो अपनी वाइफ को लेके अपनी ना, अपने उनको अपने घर इनवाइट किया शुभ सुब्रमण्य मैयर ने कलाम को अपने घर खाने के लिए देन हिज वाइफ वॉज हॉरीफाइड एट द आइडिया लेकिन उसकी वाइफ जो थी वो पूरी तरह से भयभीत थी एट द आइडिया ऑफ अ मुस्लिम बॉय ये सुनकर कि मुस्लिम बॉय बीइंग इनवाइटेड टू हर प्योर प्योर किचन कि एक मुस्लिम बॉय को बुलाया है अपने घर पर इन्वाइट किया है वो भी ऐसे दिन पे then uh we do have then shiv subramanyam ayer served kalam ab uski wife ne to usko mana kar diya ki wo apne pure kitchen mein usko khana serve nahi karegi so then shiv subramanyam ayer served him kalam box food by your own and sat down beside him to eat his meal aur wo uske sath hi baith gaya khana khane ke liye so the next time he invited kalam to his home to so jab usne dobara kalam ko apne ghar pe invite kiya then shivra subramanyam ayer's wife served him food uh, with her hands 
इनसाइड द किचन तो शिव्र सुब्रमण्यम अयर की वाइफ ने खुद से अपने हाथों से अपनी किचन में ले जाके उनको खाना परोसा देन क्वेश्चन नंबर टू वाई डिड अब्दुल कलाम वॉन्ट टू लीव रामेश्वर अब्दुल कलाम क्यों छोड़ना चाहते थे रामेश्वरम को अब्दुल कलाम वॉन्टेड टू लीव रामेश्वरम बिकॉज ही वॉन्टेड टू स्टडी एट द डिस्ट्रिक्ट हेडक्वार्टर इन रामानाथपुरम अब्दुल कलाम ने रामेश्वरम इसलिए छोड़ा क्योंकि वो अपने डिस्ट्रिक्ट हेडक्वार्टर रामनाथपुरम में स्टडी करना चाहते थे वट डिड हिज फादर से टू दिस हिज फादर सेड अब्दुल आई नो यू हैव टू गो अवे टू ग्रो अब्दुल ने कहा दैट गेस ओके देन बट हिज फादर सेड लाइक अब्दुल आई नो यू हैव टू गो अवे टू ग्रो मुझे पता है कि तुम अपनी ग्रोथ के लिए यहां से जाना चाहते हो Does the seagull not fly? क्या सीगल उड़ नहीं सकती Across the sun, सूरज की ओर alone and without a nest, अकेले और बिना किसी सहारे के क्या कोई सीगल उड़ नहीं सकती उड़ सकती है तो आप तुम भी बिना सहारे के जा सकते हो तो वी वॉज रियली रेडी टू सेंड सन टू रामानाथपुरम Nextly, we do have. What do you think his words mean? आपको क्या लगता है उनके words का क्या मतलब था? And why do you think he spoke those words? और आपको क्या लगता है कि उन्होंने words क्यों बोले? His words mean he understood that Kalam had to leave his house and get a good higher education to. Okay, so then his words mean to understand that Kalam had to leave his house. उसके शब्दों का मतलब ये था, ये समझाना था that Kalam had to leave his house कि Kalam को अपना घर छोड़ना है and uh, get a good higher education to grow. उसको अपना घर छोड़ के अपने हायर स्टडीज के लिए जाना है ही स्पोक दीज वर्ड्स बिकॉज ही न्यू द हार्श रियलिटी ऑफ लाइफ उसने ये वर्ड्स इसलिए बोले क्योंकि उसको समाज की हार्श रियलिटी के बारे में सच में पता है द चिल्ड्रन नीड टू मूव अवे फ्रॉम देयर होम तो उनको उम्मीद जो है वो अपने बच्चों से कम Okay then. He spoke these words क्योंकि वो समाज की सत्यता को जानता था That the children need to move away from their home and parents to make a career and earn. बच्चों को अपना घर छोड़ के जाना होता है अपना करियर बनाने के लिए और कुछ कमाने के लिए So nextly we do have It is such phrase in the singular casualty. These are some words. So now, what are the things that can it up? Okay. Then next. We do have some words like answer sentence in the text where these words occur. Are erupt? कौन सी लाइन से लिया गया है? So erupt is a word that takes from for reasons I have never been able to understand, and a sudden demand for tamarind seeds erupted in the market. Next surge. 
surge is the word that is taken by the book half a century later i can still feel and surge of pride in earning my own money for a first time then praise my brother in law jalaluddin would tell me stories about the war which i could tell except praise so nextly we do have praise already done undistinguished i was one of the many children a short boy with rather undistinguished looks born to tall and handsome parents casualty the first casualty came in the form the suspension of the train halt at rameshwaram station nextly question number 1 What are the things that can erupt? Once it is there, you erupt over it. Use examples to explain the various meanings. अलग-अलग meaning को explain करने के लिए examples की help चाहिए. So things that can erupt are volcanoes, emotions, anger. then things that erupt are jo cheeze tabah kar deti hain bol ke no emotions and anger so these are some sentence framing the a volcano erupted in the moina ki last night and ranjan's anger erupted as a ashyamas continuous nagging so things that can surge are prizes wave crowd storm etc next please question number 2 what are the meaning of the word phrase and which of the meanings is closest to the word in the text so first one to draw an outline to copy to find out so yes we do have the question can you find the word and distinguish in your dictionary or meaning of the word and uh, which of the message is close to the friend so actually we do have to draw an outline to copy to find out so the exact the closest meaning of phrase is to find out then question number 3 can you find the word undistinguished in your dictionary if not look up the word undistinguished and say what undistinguished must mean so no i cannot find the word undistinguished in my dictionary then next we the meaning of the word undistinguished is so what are the points i cannot find the word mujhe nahi mil raha hai alag alag tarah ke dictionary mein mere one like so the meaning of the word lasting yeah so no i cannot find the word undistinguished in the dictionary koi bhi word nahi hai jo undistinguished ho the meaning of the word undistinguished jo koi word hi nahi hai education dictionary mein uh, dictionary specific distinct thus under uh, deleted most most of them not specified the meaning of the word jo hai word ka jo meaning hai undistinguished as given in the dictionary of a specific distant ki wo district mein hai hai to yes so the meaning of the word undistinguished as given as given in the dictionary is specific and distinct so that is the word which is similar to the 
undistinguished. Thus, undistinguished must mean not specific and non distinct. I hope you will understand this. Then, next day, match the phrases broke out chidana in accordance with kisi ke anushar helping hand help ho jana hold not circle no need to quote anything then in accordance with in a helping hand uh, holding out stomach generosity of spirit okay so we have to match them to see the correct answers taken out sorry brought out means begun some suddenly in a violent way begun suddenly in a violent way in accordance with according to a particular rule principle or system a helping hand helping hand means assistance could not stomach was not able to tolerate guess it was this is okay okay so then helping hand means assistance could not stomach means was not able to tolerate generosity of spirit means an attitude of kindness figure of authority and it was one of okay then generosity of spirit means an attitude then nextly because of authorities okay next figures of authority means person with power to make decisions now nextly we do have study the words in italics in the sentence below italic words ko underline karenge and they are formed by prefix in prefix banenge i was a short boy with rather undistinguished looks so undistinguished essential in essential okay then next we now from the opposites of the word below by prefixing un and ain the prefix and un also have the forms if er in so we have to join we can make a prefix so demanding adequate inadequate acceptable unacceptable regular irregular tolerant intolerant demanding undemanding active inactive true and true permanent impermanent patriotic unpredictable legal illegal disputed undisputed accessible inaccessible orient impotent logical illogical legal illegal responsible irresponsible possible impossible nextly passive voice my parents were regarded as an example as an bundle couple so according to that we need to change into passive form okay so you need to write these according to the voice now question number 4 in passive voice we have to read it in yesterday's competition the prize is given by the principal okay so then yesterday's competition the prize is by the children 
the in spite of financial difficulties the laborers pay on time okay next science handbooks so nextly in spite of financial difficulties the laborers were paid on time on republic day vehicles were not allowed beyond this point second hand books on the payment every saturday every second half books are brought and sold on the payment every saturday okay so then question number 5 part 5 elections to the lok sabha held every 5 years so yes election of lok sabha are held then our election uh, the national anthem rabindranath tagore composed so our national anthem was composed by rabindranath tagore nextly we do have rewrite the following passage and using the correct verb of verb of verb how helmets came to be like in contract okay so how helmets came to be used in cricket helmets yes used kar rahe hain cricket ko okay then how helmets came to be used in cricket helmet kaise aaye cricket mein nari contractor was the captain and opening batsman for india in 1960 nari contract established hua captain bane unke and the indian cricket team went to on a tour of the east venus in 1920 yes so in the match against bad the doors in redwood nari contractor injured in collapse and in those the days helmets nari contractor then nextly contractor skull the entire team concerns about you and the west indies players contractor to the hospitals he accompanied by frank favor now next question then we do have how helmets can be used in cricket nextly how helmets came to be used in the cricket so contractor was the captain captain and he brought then nextly we do have how helmets came to be used in cricket 
the contractor was the captain and uh, an opening batsman for india at sea yes we have to find out the intersection then we do we have to select so in match against bardos did now do i have a get by so the indian cricket team went on a tour to the west indies in 1962 us match mein contractor will hit that bit like they did oil from seeds vegetable oils and seeds from fruits and any plants growing all over the world we can write we can describe according to this panja also so rest of all we have already completed so thank you have a nice day